Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. A lot of you have asked me if I wanted to make a nighttime routine, so here it finally is. So the horses are going out in the morning, kind of early in the morning, and now when I'm filming this it's around 9pm, 9.30ish, um, and now it's time to put them in. So the first step is to get their feed ready. So I'm feeding the food from Agrops. I really like the food, it's really natural, nothing crazy is in it. It's just all really healthy and they also absolutely love it. And what I really like is that I have for every horse their own meal. So what I'm gonna make first now is the mesh. Macho gets it because of um, it's really good for the yeah his poo because sometimes he had a bit of thinner poo and this really helps. And the rest also gets it as late night snack. Okay, so because I thought Annie was losing a little bit of weight, I told Agrops that I maybe wanted to have something else or something more, what could be the best option. So here I have actually food that I also have to make wet, so it's kind of similar as hay to say it easy, um, but then it's easier to digest for them and Andres also gets some. So together with the mesh I need to wet these things, so I set these apart. Then Bea gets food because I like it if they can all eat and not just all the others. And this is just really healthy food, but they don't get fat from it. Macho gets that in the morning as well. Okay, so then I have the three big horses and I give them some of the food for the older horses. So they get all the things they need, but then um, also some other food that is more for when your horse is in work and your horse is more in a sport or even a bit younger still. So I really like this mixture that I can make. So Andorra gets a bit more of the senior one than the others um, and the others get a bit more of the sport one. But doing it together it all helps each other and it's just very complete. Okay, so then I close the, yeah, the bins so I can put the buckets on top of it because what I also really like about Agrops is that they give the vitamins, the minerals, everything separate because sometimes if you give less or more of something then they might not get the vitamins and minerals they need. So here I know exactly what they need for each horse. So you see the natural one, the big one, that is for every horse but on the I guess the senior one and then the other one, the beer haver, is for mostly macho but I now also give it to all of them so they get an extra shine on their coat. So it depends on each horse what they get. Um, this one is for macho because he gets some of the mesh so then it is in the scoop and the others just get one little, yeah, one little bit. The other one is for everyone, except for Andorra, it's just the minerals, vitamins. Chase gets a bit more because he's bigger. And then I share it over all of them. Okay, and then last but not least is Andorra. She gets her senior one, so I'm sure that she gets everything she needs and even more. So a little bit more to finish it. Okay, so now I always try to put these on how I feed it to them. So the wet ones and then goes on Therese, Beer, Honey and Chase. Just exactly how they are in the stable. So I can just literally walk past the stables and empty the buckets in their feed bin. The dogs like to follow me around. Okay, so at first in the meantime, because otherwise I have to wait, I put the bucket with the mesh already there and it can get wet in the meantime whilst I put the other feed in. I kind of enjoy this process because everybody gets their own little share, their own meal that is made for them and I think this is very nice. Also because every horse needs something different so I think it's good when they get exactly what they need. So normally we have a girl Carline help us in the morning, she makes everything ready for the horses, she does the stables, the hay and everything um, which is really nice. But this morning it's quite a coincidence I had to do it myself, so especially for this video I thought I'll do the hay and the stables a little bit later on so I can show you as well. 
So there was a really big spider already for a few days. I know everything is a little bit of a mess at the moment. We are working on a lot of things and then after everything is finished, then we will also start cleaning up. And I don't want to kill it, so it's still there. Okay, so this is the feed they get when it's even a bit later, because I try to share the food a little bit over the day. So now they get it and then two hours later, around 11 and 12 at night, they will get the rest. So even a little bit of um, Omega they get, so every horse gets their own share, what they need, as Agops told me how to feed it. So they even get a little bit extra for everything. Okay, now I have to run because I have the water still on and otherwise it might be too wet. clean the spoon a little bit okay and then Macho gets his mesh because it needed to wait a little bit in the water and now it's ready and then I can give him the mesh he really likes it and it really made a huge difference because otherwise he always had his steel dirty and now it's definitely a lot better if not perfect okay so time to do the hay sometimes we do it in the morning now I do it later on the day we got these bags or sacks in the um, stables just so it won't really get mixed up with the bedding And also in this way we know exactly what they get every day and chase because he's a bit bigger and otherwise he might finish it before he will also get some on the ground. So usually these bags will last at least till the morning. They usually have something left because I think it's really important when they always have something to eat and that they are never without any food. So I do this to all of the stables, they all have their hay ready. I might have a little bit left and I give that to Annie on the floor so she has a bit more. Okay, so this is what we put in the stables. It's a different kind of bedding. I never really knew it before because my horses were always on straw. This is actually better than shavings in my opinion because first of all it's not that dusty. You can do a long time with it, it really collects all the wetness that goes into the stable. You just have to make it ready. Sometimes we don't have to make it wet, but now because it's quite dry outside and warm, it's kind of important to make it wet. So I put in a wheelbarrow and I sprinkle it with some hot water and then it, instead of these pellets, becomes really soft and nice for the horses. And then after that is finished, it's ready to go into the stable. And it just is always very clean. So the next day, usually if you go through the stable, the stable is fully clean. Like there's no wetness anymore. There's no poo anymore. And I think with anything else like straw or shavings, it's always still a bit wet unless you almost empty the whole stable. So I really, really like this. And the horses really lay in it and they enjoy it. So yeah, I'm really happy that we can use the dry step. So all the others still had enough, but Andor I could use a little bit more. Okay, now it's time to put them in. Here I always get Macho and Antares together. Of course, I let them go in the stable because they know exactly where they have to go. But don't do this with a horse if you don't know if that will be fine. So Antares and the, at least the horses without a lot of forelock, they wear fly masks. But always when I take them off, I scratch their face a little bit because they might get a little bit itchy after because they can't scratch themselves. And then it's time for the three musketeers, Bear, Honey and Chase. They can go in and their food is already ready and waiting for them. Need to take their fly masks off as well. And of course Andorra will enjoy a little scratch too. So this food is already for later today so in like one to two hours at least I will give the food and they have a late night snack as well so now they are enjoying all their food oh, 
Hunter has the, looks very angry, but he's not really angry. <laughs> Macho has his own pedestal on this table because otherwise he can't really look over the table. And of course he made the camera dirty. We also have chickens, if you might have noticed on Matt's channel. And they always go in at night, also because we have foxes around, but they already go in by themselves. So now it's only time for me to close the the gate. I first of course had to check if there weren't any chickens left outside, because that will be a bit sad. It's a little bit dark, but you can see some of them sit there. So, okay, that's closed. And that is done. So then I walk to the house, check up on all the horses quickly. Okay, and then it's time for me to go shower, do some computer work, do anything else, maybe eat. It really depends on the day. Um, but then, as I said before, like two hours later, I will go out again. Okay, so two hours have passed already. Went quite quickly in this video, but it was two hours. Maisie wasn't really feeling going outside, she was tired. But I always like to take them with me so they can also do some pee poo if they need to. And they also like to come along to the horses as well. Sometimes I give the horses a little brush in the evening just to have some time with them, maybe check up on them, and they enjoy that. Of course, Andres bumped into the camera. Okay, and then it's time for the late night snack. So Andorra and Andres will get the kind of hay-ish in pellet form. And Chase likes to lick the bucket afterwards. Okay, Machu knows exactly what time it is, he needs to put his bucket up. And then they will all get some mesh, so they have some late night snack and can enjoy their last meal. Andres gets the last bit that is left out of the bucket. And then I always want to say goodnight to all of them. Because otherwise I can't go inside. And with Andorra it's even a little bit worse. I always have to go in and give her some extra cuddles as well. But you'll see that later. So Maisie is very lucky and usually Penny is there too, but Chase and Antares sometimes might drop some food when they're eating and it falls on the ground and they know exactly where to be, it's even on her back. Um, and they just snack along with them. Okay, so here I have to say another good night to Andorra. So then everything is finished, the lights can be turned off and the horses can sleep, enjoy their meals and I will see them again in the morning. The dogs will come with me and I really hope you liked to see my nighttime routine. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you also have a nighttime routine that you do with your horse, maybe with your dog, or maybe with something else. I'm very curious to hear. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.